This little video podcast is going to be on compression. I was in Chicago uh, two or three weeks ago doing one of my slideshow seminars on engineering, the importance of an engineer and the whole recording process, having that person there to filter stuff through. And, and a student asked me about compression and, and what was a one or two line thing that I could use about compression. And I would say if you think of audio or a mix as a square box, what I use compression for is for bringing something out of the back up to the front. Out of the back, up to the front. It could be anything, bass, you know. I guess that's one way of using it, you know. There's other ways of just controlling dynamic range, but in a mix situation, where you got everything going on and you want everything up in your face and want to be able to hear everything nice and clear and all that. That's basically what I use it for. I grab something that's in the back, compress it, and, and that will bring it up more up into the front of things. Once again, you can hear more about my concepts and uh, more detailed view of compression on different instruments and stuff in the Touch a Knob, Make a Sound series of DVDs. This is Bobby Brooks. Good afternoon.